He always tells me that, you know, he believes in me and that he knows that I can get to wherever I want to go as long as, like, I work hard. He's been to world meets and he's been to the Olympics and so he knows exactly what it takes to get there. Hands down, I think he's the hardest working diving coach in the country. Even though you were barely out of time on drive, like a little more low, a nice tight core when you're coming out of that. My favorite part about him personally would be that he makes things fun. What Matt is amazing at is staying positive. When you come out of the water, he's going to tell you something positive first. Great hurdle. That's it. You look great, man. Thank you. As a diver, I gave everything I could. And then when I became a coach, I did everything I could to get the best out of that young man or young woman each day. He's a hard worker. He expects that out of his team, and he gets it. Well, competing in the Olympics uh, as an athlete, it was so fun because I had been dreaming about that as a young boy. To realize that and be a part of that, it was so fun. It was, it was the thrill of a lifetime. I'll never forget. He always keeps, you know, the the big picture in mind. I definitely appreciate the way he goes about his business. It's an unbelievable thing to see someone rise to the occasion under some of the toughest conditions and relax, be confident, and drill and die. That's nothing better. Nice dive, Will. I would just like as my legacy, legacy, I guess, I would like for people to know that I just showed up every day doing my very best to help someone reach their goal. He always tells us to dream big. I know that like he's going to give me his all, and that makes me want to give him my all. Matt's more than just a good coach. He's a really good person. That's the way we want people to see Texas.